Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm. This is the second of my Romney Marsh investigations in the wet, windy, rainy weather down here in Kent, and I'm standing on Chapel Bridge with the lovely Nigel Sadler. You bring me to all the exciting places, don't you? Oh, we do. <laughs> Bleak and desolate. Yes, I mean, very it's just, desolate. Just rain mist all around. <coughs> there's, there's a few hundred yards, and that's about it. We've got young Aaron here with us. Hello. Freezing. You didn't bring a coat, did you? No. It's a little. He, daft. He, he doesn't do sensible clothing. No. We are here because we saw on a map after visiting. Is that your car? Of course, the dog. The, dog <coughs> the dog's just let the alarm off. Um, <laughs> Unlock it, car unlocked. Extraordinary. Uh, yes, uh, we were at Fair. Where was it called? Fairfield. Fairfield. Fairv. Fairfield. Fair, I think Fair, it was, we'll call it Fairfield anyway. Yes. Anyway, the previous church that we were at on this little mini series. Sorry about the uh, camera getting covered in rain. There's not, nothing I can do about that. And we looked on the map, the OS map, and we saw we wanted to come to an, an older church or the remains of a church, and we found one here between New Church and Burmarsh, and it's it's this is Chapel Bridge. So we this little church may be actually a chapel of ease we don't know and that's chapel lane so ah. it gives a bit of a clue so we're going to walk down there shall we just start going because it's uh, a bit blustery but we've seen in a clump of uh trees yeah uh the poking out what must be either the bell tower or part of the gable end of the church as we passed it to park the car with its uh, alarm system that works very well. With a dog inside it, it's triggering yes. it. So. And we're going to walk up to it now and see what we see. We've not had a look, so this is all quite exciting. Yeah, it's a, it's a stone structure, certainly. It looks like it's made out of um, flint, but we'll get a closer look in a minute. So these lanes, they wiggle about uh, the Romney Marsh. I guess they're very old lanes now tarmacked and very few cars we've noticed on them but very few passing places as well you wouldn't want to meet a tractor no definitely not that would be a, a bit of a <clears throat> because you, you, there's nowhere really to turn as you can see here on my right a, a mixture of different trees a lot of hawthorn here some brambles and various other a lot of ivy covering everything and then a sign which we're hoping will give us some information about the church. Well, this is a cycle network sign. This is cycle na National cycle, cycle Network Route 2. What you're telling me is the sign has nothing to do with the church. It's Let's go do down do this tiny little alleyway and Have see we... what we see. Through this path and these bushes. This is quite exciting. And then we come out to here we go standing I'm guessing in part of the church here with this remaining structure not flint as I saw but some sort of rubble and stone let's have a little look round try and work out what we can from it fascinating preserved remains. You can see it's all mowed and looked after in the area. And now we just need to go and sort of walk about and see if we can work out what part of the church this might be. That must be the West End Tower, I would think. Yes. That's it my... to be the, the tower, the West End, a bit of the West Wall, no. but no East or South Walls that remain. Yes, you certainly get the impression that that could be almost up some steps through a door, but that may be just the way the rubble well, has that's fallen. The rubble yes, down. that's it's yes, absolutely. And then come through. So this would be the nave that I'm in now. Tiny little chapel, and a a little bit of the the far end, the north I guess. Wall. No, that's the north wall. There doesn't seem to be <coughs> any sign of the uh, of the east end. No, but the. the it's sort of the hump here ends here and I would imagine it's not a very big church. If we were standing on the east wall, foundations of here, then given the distance to the west wall and the height of what remains of the tower, that would make the church taller than it is longer. 
So I think probably the east wall must go further that way, probably by another 30 feet or so. Well, we can ascertain that by maybe just having a look in these bushes to see if there's any remnants. You see, there's a bit more of a solid boundary there down is, here. There is something there. And it's so maybe it, overgrown. But. Yes. And is that a bit, or is that just my eyes? Yeah, Very I difficult know, to say. I can see. see what you're seeing, but I can't tell. No. Wet. Oh, I'm getting nagged, snagged up. It must have been quite an impressive church when it was extant and, 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 and new, because it's built out of a you know, long-lasting material, and indeed that tower has stood for, I don't know, however old this place is, 800 years. Um, but it's a shame the rest of it has all gone. Well, that's what makes it so exciting, for, you know, when you come along because for me ruined churches like this it leads so much to the imagination that you start to um, work it out for yourself when you go to that church we saw before it was lovely but there's nothing left of the imagination because it's all there for you yes whereas this we've already been spending five minutes just pondering where bits are and how big and where it is and how big a congregation it seems to be quite a large we've, church we probably was we've exercised our brains a lot yes. more but yes it does seem like a, a a large church but you can always see a bit of the roof you know there's a bit of roof up there yeah that looks like a roof line a roof line there's a, uh, there's a slot you, as you can see straight through but narrow the, uh, it narrow. does look like it was a narrow church so it wouldn't have gone on that long if it was narrow it wouldn't have gone on for too long it would have been so narrow unless there's a, a missing aisle which obviously we've got no no but how fascinating, you know, this is, this is one of the great things I think about Britain is, is, is preserved, is this thing. We don't just knock them down and then build something else. That's what I particularly find interesting. And somewhere, you know, in a vault somewhere, there might be some drawings or a, a woodcut or something of it, which gives us a bit more information. But fascinating church. Let's just have a look at it from a different angle right over here. But uh, it could well be just that it is the Chapel of Ease and it was built up. And the, the, the height, of course, I think would have been important so that it could have been seen for miles. Well, you've got very flat land here, so why wouldn't you have uh, used the height as landmarks? Well, it's time to say goodbye to our mystery church whose dedication we don't know. Unknown. Which is a bit of a shame. But there'll be somebody, I'm sure, somewhere at some point who'll come across this video and say, do you know, I know, I know. Or as you said, there may be a book. Yes, the churches of the Romney Marsh. The lost churches of Romney Marsh, yeah. Mm, somebody must have done it. So um, we'll go back through this little passageway that we came in, which could have been the south, you know, the pathway to the south door. I think so. Yeah. I think so, because it then connects directly to the road. And it does, and that easy. would have been a lane, of course. Yes, we'll come back through here. You can imagine a, a little gate, perhaps, some ancient gate or something. But the chances are that fell to, uh, fell into ruin maybe 500 years ago, some time ago. It's been like that. Oh, and have you found a cache? Geocache. It's, it's one a, of several we passed actually on, on our various visits, but here we go. A geocache. Did and we find did, some more? Well, I, we've, I've noticed them when we passed them. Oh, have you? Tucked behind things. Oh, right. So there yeah, we are. It's got a medal in it and all sorts and a little, little beetle, artificial beetle. So yeah, it's go. not a living beetle. Um, I, 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 most of them are dead now anyway, the beetles, aren't they? Oh, not that kind of beetle. Right. But there we are. How fascinating is that? A geocache and an ancient church. Well, thanks for bringing me there. It's, uh, the rain seems to have uh, paused, so we're going to think of what to do next. Maybe a cup of tea in a tea shop somewhere. In the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, support what we do. We'll go out and investigate somewhere else. Not always churches. No. Sometimes car parks. Till the next time. Goodbye. Bye.